అందరికీ నా నమస్కారము నేను వరి పరిశోధన సంస్థలో గత ముప్పై సంవత్సరాలుగా ప్రధాన శాస్త్రవేత్తగా పనిచేస్తున్నాను ఈ ఈ యొక్క ఇండస్ట్రియల్ మీట్ యొక్క ముఖ్య ఉద్దేశము ఏదైతే వరి వంగడాలను డెవలప్ చేశామో ఆ వరి వంగడాలు త్వరితగతిన హైబ్రిడ్స్ కానీ లో ఫాస్టరస్ వెరైటీస్ కానీ నైట్రోజన్ ఎఫిషియంట్ వెరైటీస్ కానీ అతి తక్కువ కాలంలో రైతు సోదరులకు చేరాలనే మా అభిలాష ఇది జరగడానికి కొర కొరకని మన వరి పరిశోధన సంస్థ ముఖ్యంగా ప్రైవేట్ సంస్థలతో కలిసి పనిచేయడం జరుగుతున్నది సుమారుగా వంద మంది ఇండస్ట్రియలిస్ట్ వచ్చా వచ్చారు అండ్ వాళ్ళు మా వరి పరిశోధన సంస్థ యొక్క క్షేత్ర ప్రదర్శన చూసి చాలా చాలా వరకు అప్రిషియేట్ చేశారు ఈ టెక్నాలజీస్ ముఖ్యంగా రైతు సోదరులకు వెళ్ళాలంటే పబ్లిక్ అండ్ ప్రైవేట్ సెక్టర్స్ కలిసి పనిచేయాలి గత కొద్ది సంవత్సరాలుగా గత రెండు సంవత్సరాల నుంచి భారతీయ వరి పరిశోధన సంస్థ ప్రైవేట్ సంస్థలతో కలిసి పనిచేస్తున్నది ముఖ్యంగా డిఎస్ఆర్ టెక్నాలజీ తర్వాత ఐఓటి బేస్డ్ వాటర్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అంతేకాకుండా జీనోమ్ ఎడిటింగ్ మీద చాలా పరిశోధనలు జరిగినాయి ఈ వరి పరిశోధన సంస్థలు ఇవన్నీ మన ఇండస్ట్రియలిస్ట్ కూడా రైతులకు చేరేటట్టు సహకరిస్తారని ఈ ఆశిస్తున్నాను ముఖ్యంగా క్షేత్ర పరిశ్రమలో ముఖ్యంగా ఆధునిక వరి వంగడాలే కాకుండా హైబ్రిడ్స్ కూడా చూపించడం జరిగింది కొన్ని వంగడాలు దగ్గర దగ్గర మూడు వందల నుంచి మూడు వందల యాభై గింజలు ఒక ప్యానికల్కు వచ్చే వంగడాలను కూడా మన ఇండస్ట్రీ వాళ్ళు చూడడం జరిగింది ఈ టెక్నాలజీసే కాకుండా తక్కువ వనరులు వాడి ఉత్పాదన పెంచే రకాలు ముఖ్యంగా ఫాస్ఫరస్ తగ్గించి నైట్రోజన్ తగ్గించి అధిక దిగుబడిని సాధించే వరి వంగడాలను కూడా చూడడం జరిగింది అంతేకాకుండా ఫాల్స్మట్ ఫాల్స్మట్ యొక్క స్క్రీనింగ్ ఫెసిలిటీ అది మన ఇండియాలోనే ప్రప్రథమంగా మన వరి పరిశోధనలతో జరి చేయడం జరిగింది దానికి తోడు ఐఓటి బేస్డ్ వాటర్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ మనము ఎవరు మాన్యువల్ ఇంటర్వెన్షన్ కాకుండా మనం వరిలో ఉన్న నీటి 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 యొక్క పరిమాణాన్ని మనము గ్రహించగలము దీని ద్వారా రైతులకు చాలా వరకు నీటి ఆదా చేయడమే కాకుండా కార్బన్ క్రెడిట్స్ కూడా సమకూర్చడానికి అవకాశాలు ఉన్నాయి and also from our institute's standpoint as not only a lead institute but also as an institute coordinating Olympia coordinated research project, uh, marketing personnel and also all the representatives from the private sector. Together with the support of the farmers, uh, last year we achieved almost uh, an improbable level of almost 125 or 130 million tons of rice, milled rice produced. And uh, we have also exported significant quantity of rice, almost 22 Uh, 0.35 million uh, tons of uh, rice has been exported. Of which Basmati uh, is a principal one, and non Basmati also we exported almost 60 million tons. And uh, because of uh, kind support from each one of you, the coordinating uh, research system, that is All India Coordinated Research Project on Rice, has culminated in the release and notification of at least 75 varieties, which include five hybrids. And 28 of these have been notified by CBSC and just by SBSC during the year 2223. Of these six varieties and one hybrid have been developed by our own institute, that is ICR IAR. And we have also registered one of the maximum number of genetic stocks, which are very, very unique, some of which we have already seen in the field. They have got some unique traits. About 21 genetic stocks have also been registered. We are also working with 30 private sector partners, most of you are here. We can give trials through your support and then uh, I'm extremely grateful for you for conducting all the trials in last year and also this year. Varieties and hybrids released by CR uh, First I will discuss about the climate resilient varieties that are, that are released by IAR. Uh, in the climate resilient varieties we have got drought tolerant varieties, heat tolerant varieties, drought submergence tolerant, salt tolerant as well as low soil and pea tolerant varieties. Under each category, we have almost 223 number of varieties that are uh, developed and released for cultivation. Several healthcare products are available in IIR and they are rice rich plain relieving gel. This product is a topical formulation and has been found to be effective for minor pains, muscles, back pain also, knee pain, joint pain also. Second one is rice rich cream for cracked heel and dry skin. The product is a rice bran oil based cream useful for therapeutic and cosmetic applications such as cracked heels, dry skin disorder. Third one is rice rich moisturizing lotion. 
towards another advanced field in soil testing in a collaborative manner with the startup called Krishi Tantra and High Media along with SCF Tech Samsung Unit, we have jointly developed one Bhu Vision that is called actually the previous Tara of Krishi Rasta. That is Rasta is rapid automated soil testing with technology advisory. This is an IoT an AI enabled rapid automated machine. System seamlessly conducts 12 key soil parameters. Card is generated, card is emoji based, blended with colors, right in your mobile, it will come along with all the ergonomy advisory and input recommendations. This year's program, I very much appreciate it. I think you also agree with me. This is a very well organized. In the morning from 9.30 to 11.30, we are in the field. In the same, that uh, seeing is believing. You could see the things in the pot. Last time we put some of the pots here. But seeing the things in the field is more uh, appealing and also very appreciated. This year we had a, a lot of interesting things in the field. Uh, Public-private partnership is a key for success in any field. I we expect a similar kind of uh, collaboration also comes in the field of agriculture. Major enemy of the rice crop in many parts of the country is the Hashmat disease. It's a very tricky fungus. I think people have been working for many years and it is still eluding the scientists in one way or the other. I'm happy that the scientists in higher art and for the first time they have come out with a screening technique. Artificial screening not possible anywhere, but they have standardized the methodology to screen for this disease in a both in the field and also glacial conditions, they will break through, I must say. Sir, I have been discussing almost all the workshops today, particularly for Dr. Yadav. The prices what have been fixed for signing the MOU is exorbitantly high. Yesterday I was with the man's office for Sorghum. They have developed excellent forage hybrid and they charge 25 5 lakh rupees per hybrid and plus 3 rupees or 5 rupees per kg is already to be paid to the institute. And they have also subsequently developed one more hybrid which is CSH24 MF number is 43. And for that I am told they will fix the price of 15 lakhs. So that's why perhaps they request that for other hybrid you are, you are charging 5 lakhs and 25 cent companies have become the number and they have taken the habit they are commercializing selling in thousands of tons. And I am also one of the customers I am buying from another company. But this particular hybrid which has not been seen the light of the day because you are charging 15 lakh rupees. I do not know what is the logic behind such an exorbitant charge of 15 lakhs as against 5 lakh rupees for our hybrid. Sir, your points are very well taken. And uh, Dr. Yadav uh, will take it forward uh, in the right perspective. Thank you. Uh, deployment result of the climate resilient variety is that uh, the last two seasons you might have seen in case of in case of wheat during the month of March or even in February also 2021 as well as 21-22 uh, every year the uh, very high temperature was there at the time of maturity and then last year rains were also there but our total food grain production that increased during 2021 by 1.6 percent and during last year also by production of around 329.69 million tons of food, total food grain. Uh, so uh, when we compare with 1950, so it is almost 6.5 times higher production. So there is the efforts of all of us which are, who are sitting here in terms of the genetic enhancement in the village scope as well as the village government policy and the hard work of our farmers which have led to this situation and now from a uh, importer in many of the communities now we are the net exporters except in case of oil sheet and we are self-sufficient so that is the I think uh, only the result of the various technology which we have introduced through the private sector, through the public sector and with the new policy on seed development 1988, the liberalization that was given and the private seed companies came in a big way. So I think they also have the equal contribution in the total production of the food range and other communities in the country. So we have now almost 200 varieties, some 35, 40 varieties in case of uh, vegetables and uh, uh, rest in case of uh, the field growth. Uh, so, they are being licensed in case of uh, major field crops as well as vegetables 
and uh, we have more than 1800 licenses in the last five years with our various private sector. And I hope that in the time to come, we will be having very closer interaction, closer working for the development of the various varieties, need based varieties, biofortified varieties, for the, I think, food security, food and nutrition security of the nation. With these words, I am very highly thankful to all of you and I am very highly thankful to Dr. Sundaram and his whole team for organizing this program. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed the good work which they are doing and I wish them all the success in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, at the outset for your insights on the PCP models, which is, was extensive and uh, breathless.